Hello everyone, uh, my name is Stanislava Lukok and this is 40 Minutes of Hope by Natural Conception Awareness. I'm a naturopath and fertility coach and I created this broadcast because I know how difficult the fertility journey can be, how lonely and challenging it can be um, because I myself uh, went um, through such a path and I wanted to give you guys hope. So I am inviting uh, women and couples with success stories on this fertility journey and various specialists that uh, can give us their advice uh, on how to um, increase fertility and better cope on um, this journey. And so I'm thrilled to um, introduce to you my guest today. Um, I'm going to invite him to the studio. Hi, Lubo. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, Lubo is an astrologer and um, a Reiki and theater healer and a very dear friend, most of all. Um, I am going to let him talk uh, more about what he does and how astrology can help people struggling with infertility. Um, do you want to tell us more about what you do and, and how astrology in particular can help in this case? Actually, uh, actually, if you don't mind, uh, we can make this a little bit interactive at times. So if you don't mind, I would, I would like to have some idea about the audience, uh, if there are some people who have, for example, have some idea of astrology or basically what uh, what science, what zodiacal signs they are, so that I can adjust my uh, mini lecture in this way, so it's more interesting. Because as you know, all the signs have different interests, so so some things appeal to one sign, and some things don't appeal to the same sign or appeal to some other sign. So sure. do we have some option here? Or? Um, I, I can see the comments. I don't know about you. I don't think you can, but I am encouraging the, the people that are listening to please write in the comments what is your sign um, so Lubu can um, give you um, a spicier information of uh, what's relevant to you. Uh, I'm, so sure Arias, I'm sure Arias will be first to write. Yeah, there are Arias here. I don't know. Let's see. They we don't have first. too many. I like uh, there were three viewers when we just started. Okay. So there are four now. Um, <laughs> okay. A lot of people are going to be watching the, the recording. But for those that are watching now, there are six. OK, the numbers are growing. Um, please go ahead and write in the comments. What is your um, astrological sign? Yes, I, I switched on now. I, 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 I'm at the comments now, so I will see what your sign is. So basically, I was uh, I was expecting if there are areas to be the first to say, hey, I'm here, because the Taurus is a little bit slower. But from your point of view, Taurus is a very good sign because it uh, it is a very fertile sign. So the Taurus is one of the signs of fertility. So basically, probably in the best case, there, there will be not many Tauruses here. But if they are here, they should know that they would need probably a little bit help to achieve the success that they need because they are programmed by birth to bear children, basically. So Mercury, uh, uh, Gemini, they are so fast. Maybe they come and go or maybe they just, that just have passed through without stopping. That's me cancer. here. <laughs> <laughs> cancer, cancer. Anybody cancer? No, I don't see comments. Cancer, very good sign as well for women. Perfect for mothers. Cancers are born to be mothers. I have uh, the same observation. I have a few women friends. Cancer, very good mothers. And of course, Leo. Leo is generally related to children, so uh, Leo is related to children, so uh, we don't have 
with does, doesn't need comment there. Virgo, Virgo would be the perfect mother if you always clean your room, of course. The Virgo will be the best mother for you. You'll always take care and you'll never go with dirty shoes to school. Uh, okay, that's from another, that's from the Reiki stuff. It's not applicable here. And uh, of course, Libra. The Libras, I hope until now for these five minutes that I have told, the Libras finally decided whether to write or not to write their sign. But there is some time you can take decision until I get to Pisces. I know it's always very hard to take decision, but sometimes you have to. Obviously, if Libras are here, they need, they already have taken some decision and want to make the next steps for that. Scorpio, Scorpio, I don't ask about Scorpios, they will hide themselves anyway. But I am not worried about them because they have the strength to achieve any to achieve anything. So the Scorpios are probably the girls here who will be able to go through all the difficult tasks that Stani is going to give them in order to increase their chance of uh, getting pregnant. Uh, so Sagittarius, Sagittarius look at life from the bright side i'm not not worried about them either because they are born with luck so they should use their luck and without so much effort like the scorpion but with a little bit more luck they will achieve as well everything that stanis test say, tells them probably probably will not do everything but because they are lucky they will achieve it anyway Capricorn, no, nobody writes. No, on, no comments. Go. No comments. Oh. Well, if you're listening to the replay, please give us a comment. Did did it uh, resonate with you what Lubu said? Yeah, at the end you even have the chance to ask questions. You know, which is, you know, you know that our politicians nowadays never answer questions you know because they don't like questions i'm not like that i'm not politician i'm astrologer so you can ask me questions and i will answer i guarantee you so the capricorn if there were capricorn here until now he would have written his name uh, his sign because the capricorn is always fulfilling correctly exactly precisely what he is uh meant to do so they take their chores very seriously the capricorns aquarius probably not <laughs> they are the opposite and if the pisces you know you know pisces is the last sign because probably until now they are swimming somewhere until they find the channel the link hopefully yes i'm pisces and i found it as well so until now, I hope the Pisces will find the link as well. <laughs> so, so even guys, you made me work more. You know, I don't like that now. I, if you had told me which which signs you are, I would have talked, especially for your signs. But now I had to go through all of them. Anyway, don't worry. I'll go through everything. I'll help what is with what is necessary and what can be helpful. So generally. I have a personal story regarding, uh, and I was thinking today uh, about my astrologer, astrology experience and my children experience. So basically, I have three children, and uh, I I know what it is to expect and to try to to get your wife pregnant, and that it doesn't happen one month, second month, third month, because when when my my first child is now almost fourteen. I was not astrologer at that time, so I had no vague idea what has to be done in order to support the process. I didn't know Stani at that time. And we really had a problem because we are trying, first we prepared, the only thing that, that I knew is good to do is to clean your body. So for three months I didn't drink alcohol. So we didn't drink alcohol for three months. And we decided that now we are prepared to make children because we didn't drink alcohol for three months. Okay, but first month doesn't work. Second month doesn't work. 
third month doesn't work. So already six months without alcohol, which is which might be a problem for Pisces. Anyway, I survived. And uh, finally, we went to the mountain, drank a glass of wine. Uh, the mother of my first child then uh, that just changed work, which relieved the stress level to some extent, which is very important as well. And uh, it was successful. Later on, I learned that there are many, many, many aspects and many, many things that can uh, support or or hinder uh, this process. So basically, uh, if somebody, if you have have some idea about astrology, okay. If not, I'll just say one sentence and go directly to the topic. If we presume that there is harmony in the universe, and we, we all believe there is harmony in the universe, right? Well, you can say yes or no. Well, if we presume there is this harmony in the world, then we can always find some connection between the processes that happen to us, to Stani, to me, to you, to the nation, to the country, whatever, to the team, if you want. So there is connection between these processes and the, some other processes that happen somewhere else in the universe. So if you find a system where we know what will be the state of the system, not only now and yesterday, but tomorrow, in one month, in nine months for you, then, then, then we can make some conclusions regarding our processes that happen with our body for example. And such a system is the movement of the stars and the planets. We know for thousands of years ahead how they're going to move, where they're going to be situated, what aspects, relation they will have to one another. Hence, we can use this knowledge regarding the state of the system of the, or the astrology to make some uh, conclusions about the reflection regarding reflection on our lives not only getting pregnant but everything work love uh, health name it of course if they have reflection on all aspects of our life naturally they have reflection on the most important question of life which is the life of giving the 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 process of giving life and actually women are the ones that can give life i i am trying but I am pregnant for many years now, but I still cannot deliver life. So obviously women will have to do that. Well, here, you, you are still giving life. You're not giving birth, but you are participating yeah. in this life. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, so I, I, everybody does whatever he can, you know, he can. So basically, uh, to make this, the long story short, I was still like many years ago when I was I was not even astrologer. I was I was in the middle of my astrology first astrology course, and uh, I had this case case that my my aunt <clears throat> let her rest in peace because she's not alive anymore. My aunt said, "Okay, now you have you have already children. When I'm going to become a grandmother?" And I said, please stop. I don't want to hear that anymore. Give me, do you know the, do you know the, the date of birth of your, of your uh, daughter-in-law? Yes, of course. I know everything. She was the perfect uh, mother-in-law. She knew everything about her daughter-in-law. I mean, all the details, even the, what hour she was born. And the problem was that the daughter-in-law was a little bit, I don't know, 40, I forgot how many years, but some, some years, about 40, and they were trying already. They went through two in vitro procedures, which were not successful. My cousin as well was a little bit older than me. So I, I just as a joke, we decided to make this ex exercise and check this out. Ah, next week your daughter-in-law can get pregnant. And the mother and the aunt said, oh, of course. Next week, just know that 
we are going to have an in vitro procedure. So she's participating in the in vitro procedure as well as a, as a real good mother-in-law. <laughs> said, uh, said next week, you don't need to have a in vitro procedure. You can make it naturally. But anyway, this in vitro procedure is going to be successful. Nine months later, we were there at the hospital and uh, she left the hospital with her baby. Well, so far, so good. It was the 15th of November, I remember. 15th of November, 2010. And uh, so far, so good. I forgot this case. I was already a, a certified astrologer and was doing my stuff. And then the next the next case, at the beginning of next year, my, my um, land, landlady, right? The one who is giving me office, the woman from whom I rented the office came and said, come on, give me the money for the office because I am gathering money for in vitro procedure. I said, what? Why? I said, oh, my, with my husband, we are trying to have a baby already two years and it doesn't work. So I'm, I'm gathering some funds to make in vitro procedure. I said, okay. Okay, give me your birth date. She gave me and I checked and I said, okay, like two weeks in two weeks, this weekend, you go to the mountain, leave the phone, make love with your husband. She called me four months later and said, I didn't want to tell you because I am, you know, superstitious, but this weekend that you told us, we went and we did this thing. And, and now her daughter is now a wonderful, wonderful girl going to school. Interestingly, she was born on the 15th of November as well, but one year later, 2011. I said, okay, okay, there is something here. There is something here. I have to make, to pay more attention on this, you know, the fertility and astrology and the connection between them. And since then, I'm like, like already more than 10 years, I am uh, exploring this topic later on when when I studied astrology at another school of astrology, Eastern School, uh, I met, I was taught a technique with which I could uh, define what particular area of astrology I should specialize in. And my particular area is the fifth house. So for the ones of you who have read something or know, the fifth house is maybe the best, well, fifth, 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 fifth yes. The fifth house is generally is the best house because it is related in a, it is related with the area of love children and all that is very dear to you everything dear to you is in the fifth house for some countries it's the car as well like with ours <laughs> but basically love and children this is the fifth house and when you think what is astrology good for it is not so important whether they are going to fire you next week or next month. Okay, it is important, but it is not so dramatic. Astrology is good for to find the right person in life and to make a nice family with him, to have children, that I believe all women deserve to have children and to have this feeling. That's why since then I'm helping them. I have already many children who are very, very difficult, <laughs> didn't want to come, but finally, Finally, they are born. Now they are growing. Some of them are playing uh, gymnastics. Some of them are some are sportsmen. Very nice children. Bulgarian, uh, Italian, Greek, Turkish. Many children now. Uh, I have helped their mothers to to achieve to achieve what they have dreamed of. Can, uh, can I? Was that enough for the first question? <laughs> yes, that's more than enough for the first question. Okay. You already answered my second question. I wanted you to talk about uh, some success stories um, in your practice. I want to ask you more about the options that um, astrology can show us to parenthood. Uh, because I know you and I have talked before, um, when you work with a couple or you work with a woman, you can see, uh, based on her horoscope, 
whether she's going to become a mom through a natural conception, through an IVF, through adoption, through surrogacy or whatnot. Um, how, how do you see that? Like, and, and, and yeah. talk, can you talk more about that? Yes, yes. Here actually, here actually I would like, I would like to mention that, so probably somebody who is listening now is not a coach or life coach or something, because now I'm going to say something a little bit shocking that don't believe these uh, lectures in front of 10,000 people in the stadium where they give you one particular recipe that will win it all, you know. If you listen to me, you'll be successful in life, love, work, career, everything. No, no, it's not like that. The idea of astrology is that it's all individual. What is good for me is not good for you or vice versa. What is easy for me is not easy for you or vice versa. So it is very important, the idea here, to have the individual approach and the individual solution for this. Believe me, it's written in the stars, let's say at least 70%. At least 70%, it's in the stars, how things happen. And then we have this up to 30% that depends on us. And it's very important as well. But we have to take into, cons into consideration the 70% because the 30% is not enough. It can help, but it is not enough. And take so, advantage of the 70%. Yes, yes. Uh, just imagine you're, you're a fisherman. You know, the fishermen, they know very well the breeze of the sea. They always go into the sea. They use the, the, breeze that go, the breeze that goes inside the sea and then come back with the other breeze that comes, that is to the shore. If they try to do it vice versa, they will get, they will sweat up very, very much already before they've got to the place where they, where they have to work. So the same thing is with the, the same thing is with everything, actually. And the same thing is with getting pregnant. If you get the wave, if you get the right wave and you're on the top of the wave, then you're a good surfer. If you go between the waves, then you just find yourself under the water and then you believe that it's a tragedy and nothing can, have, nothing can be changed, which is not the case. You just didn't get the right wave. And that's it. If you get the right wave, then you have the result. So it is written in the stars basically from the moment when you were born, whether you're going to have many children, are you going to have children? Are you going to have your children late? Well, late is a relative, but let's say after 29, okay? Nowadays, it's modern to have children after 40 as well. We have some cases 50, even 60 years old here in Bulgaria, we have a woman who has uh, twins at the age of 60, but it is written in the stars. Is it going to be early? Is it going to be late? Is it going to be easy? Is it going to be hard? What should be done? Do you have, do you have the good aspects for in vitro? Because in vitro procedure is very expensive. If you don't have good aspects to make in vitro, then maybe it's not worth doing it because the chance to do it is to succeed in in vitro is very small. Rather, do you have do you have uh, such such an uh, such a hypothesis that you meet a partner who will bring children in your family, or you will you will uh, raise somebody else's children? This as well is written in the stars. It's a potential that is going to be realized. Probably is going to be realized at one moment in time to some extent. Can you give us an example, like, for example, what do you see in the stars to say, okay, you are going to become a mother through an IVF, through an in vitro procedure. What, what could you possibly see? Just give us an example. For example, the in vitro procedure is strongly related to Uranus, the planet Uranus. Mm -hmm. If we have the, if you have the right aspects to this planet and it is situated in a particular way in your horoscope and has already there is certain relation with Aquarius, then most probably it will be favorable for you 
if you try to do in vitro, it will be successful. It doesn't mean that you have to be, I always recommend first to try things naturally. And I think here the success story can be given by our main lecturer, by Stani, because she can give her success story that how she, she had her second child naturally, although the doctors told her something else. In this, uh, I, yes. I, I, I want to share another story, like that story I've talked about before, and it's not the, the place and the time today because I want to use my 40 minutes with you. But I want to say, um, before I forget, because it was in the previous question with the success stories, how um, I was really trying hard to have my son number one. And... Uh, um, it was not working and not working. And then um, I received an email from um, Sylvia, your wife, who is a, also a good friend. And she's telling me, you know, Lubo looked at, at your horoscope, looked at the stars, and is telling me that uh, it is a very good time to try for a baby if you're not already pregnant. And I had just found out a week ago that I was pregnant. I literally had goosebumps at the, that moment. Like I couldn't believe that I'm reading this and I just found out I was pregnant. It's, it's crazy. Yes, it's, uh, yeah, it's crazy. But now for me, it's something natural because uh, I, have come from, I come from a completely different background. I was a financial guy. And uh, so now I studied all this kind of statistics, mathematics, etc. And uh, and all that I learned through astrology actually questions quite a lot of the science that I have science courses I have when I have gone through, you know. So uh, for me, the most the most interesting cases are if you think because I have like more than fifteen children at least, maybe more that uh, that I put pretty heavy cases but for me the most remarkable cases and uh are when in some cases you can really you can really fix the the right date to getting pregnant even to the day even to the day and that is the case with my wife exactly what that you mentioned because uh can you tell because us story? sorry can you tell us about uh, your story yes uh, because uh, because she was uh, kind of um, uh, like close to 38. Actually, she delivered her first baby when she was uh, 38 and uh, and uh, she has never been pregnant, nothing. And she said, oh, I am never going to have a baby. And she had, by the way, she had some indications about a very hard, hard, uh, hard pregnancy and, and late pregnancy. So she said, oh, I'm never going to have a baby. And I said, I, come on. I mean, like, let's, I opened the laptop and said, okay. It was kind of, it was like 20, 26th, 7th of January, I think. And I said, on the 30, 31st of January, you are going to get pregnant. And I'm going to do that, of course, yes. <laughs> and like naturally, and uh, she said, oh, no, 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 my ovulation is on 28th. And I said, okay, let's bet on it. And we went, we went to the, to the drugstore and next, next to the, to the pregnancy test, we bought ovulation test as well to see when the ovulation is. So on the 28th, it was very, 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 very faint. weak, mm -hmm. very faint. And I said, and she said, oh, you see, I even missed it. It's the end of the story. Never will happen. I said, wait, 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 wait. 29th, stronger. 30. So 31 was actually the strongest day according to the tests for, as I, as I predicted, according to astrology and not, and not according to her calendar that she was like counting the days and stuff. So, so 31st was the day actually. And uh, if you if you want, yeah, and she was 38 when she delivered the, our our wonderful princess. And uh, if you want a very strange story, very strange success story, I I always think of a 
particular story, which is kind, which I I de I defined the, the right again the Friday day, not based on the horoscope of the girl, but on the horoscope of the guy, hmm. because uh, they came to me because for two years again they could not uh, she could not get pregnant, and in this case she was a young girl. I mean no no problem no no obvious reason to have a problem there was some particular problem with the guy with her husband who who had had uh, like two days before that had uh, some uh, operation on his testicles and uh, in order to improve the his uh, Semen quality, like, uh, yeah, semen quality, quality or something. I didn't know exactly. I'm not so much into the medical yeah, stuff. Yeah, the sperm quality. Yeah. Yes, and uh, and then I, I, my intuition told me that her horoscope. There is something wrong with her horoscope. I didn't see. Later on, it turned out that she was born like three hours difference, and not the time that she told me. I mean, like she she goes to astrologer and didn't even check the right the right hour of her of her birth. And I said, okay, I don't, I'm not going to look at your horoscope. I'll check the horoscope of your husband. And I checked his horoscope and I said, man, one week, in one week, on the 9th of May, I remember the date, that was the 2nd of May. I said, on the 9th of May is the day for you. And he said, come on, the doctors told me I had this operation like two days ago and the doctors the doctors told me that I cannot, I cannot, I will not have material, I will not have semen, uh, I need three months to gather the semen. I said, my friend, don't listen to doctors because in three months you will not have these wonderful aspects that you have now. Can you make sex? Yes, I can. Well, do it. You don't lose anything, I mean, <laughs> make sex. <laughs> it's not such hard, hard thing or such a big task, you know. <laughs> Uh, so he agreed. One week later, on the 9th of May, obviously he listened to me, and three weeks later, he met me and he drew me aside from, because there are some people, drew, drew me aside and said, listen, I don't know whether you're an astrologer or a magician, but <laughs> she's pregnant, you know, like on the 9th of May, we did it, and she's pregnant. And I said, and what about the material? You don't have material. Well, forget the doctors. <laughs> She's pregnant <laughs> with no material. So, so uh, yeah, there are many interesting cases, but um, this is one of the most uh, kind of that uh, I keep as very interesting because I didn't even, I rejected the horoscope of the woman even, but took the man. And talking about women and men, it's really important. And it's again in the stars, that there are from certain partners you can get pregnant easier and from some other partners probably not not only from an astrological point of view also from a biological physiological point of view sometimes you know there might be no issue with your partner but uh, just with any other partner you might have already gotten pregnant yeah, um, each one of them can be perfect for himself, but not mm -hmm. together. You know, that's why that's why there is a special technique in in astrology, uh, which is called synastry, and this technique is very important because it's good for matching, for matching mm -hmm. the partners, and and can save a lot of divorces later. By the way, but that's a different story. <clears throat> so you you kind of answered my my other question that I had about astrology predicting the best timing for, for conception. You just illustrated this with, with this couple. So that's another thing that you can help couples with. Um, looking at timing, what is the, the optimal time um, for becoming parents? The optimal time for becoming parents is naturally naturally when both partners have significant aspects in their in their natal in their uh, charts uh, that are going to become parents even even the best the best 
the best the best the best possible option is when in the chart of the husband we see he's going to become a father in the chart of the mother of the mother to be we see she's going to become a mother in the child chart of her mother we see she's going to become a grandmother because you know in okay. in the chart of the if the chart of the mother of the of the father it's not always you know guaranteed and uh, or or in the chart of the sister we see that she's going to become aunt like if we if we have three of these three then almost certainly almost certainly we're going to do we're going to have a baby soon if we have only one then it's probable <clears throat> it's possible if we have only if you have two factors then it's very probable and if you have three then it's almost certain i had a case uh of course i mentioned you the the best case is when uh, i said to the day when uh, my my wife or 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 the other couple going to to get pregnant but uh, i've had a, a couple of cases when it was not so easy and uh, we have to try uh, several times for one year let's say <clears throat> because based on the fact that uh, that there is a, there is a, uh, the aspects that were important for them for getting pregnant were very 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 slow mm -hmm. they were related to very slow planets so that means that the aspects are very but at the same time they're for a very long time which gives them a broader time span uh to do the baby i remember a particular case when uh, a friend of ours uh, was trying to get pregnant for quite a long time and i noticed there are three three stages three separate stages of getting more and more and more more possible to get pregnant and i did it like kind of experiment i said on this date the uh first opportunity switches on on the one month later the second opportunity adds adds up to the first opportunity and one month later the third opportunity and then already become three three opportunities one two three mm -hmm. very strong aspects that work together so if at the first the second stage it doesn't work then at the third it should work later on when we checked the because you get a particular a particular date for uh, her uh, in vitro procedure in uh, abroad it was done abroad then there are two more additional aspects which are shorter aspects that were helping her so after all she had five she get pregnant with five not three five supporting aspects because she needed a lot of support in order to get pregnant and she had all the five five supports to do that so she got pregnant as well i, I think that was the hardest case from all from all uh, that i think that but usually it happens it happens more quickly especially if they have the right uh, way of life uh, for which tani can inform you and uh, my next question is how do you handle the the negative um, prognosis with with your clients like if you see um impossibility to conceive naturally or you see impossibility to become a parent do you share that news with your client well uh, actually if i take very thoroughly if i take very seriously what my teachers have told me uh probably my wife wouldn't be pregnant you know at all but i didn't pay attention and still calculate it and try it and it worked for the first time uh for the for my daughter um as i told at the beginning there is this 70 30 percent there is a very uh great bulgarian woman uh, uh prophet who was she died already uh slava sevrikova uh let her rest in peace uh she says she was talking about the two percent free will two percent free will but even if it is two percent even if it's one percent there is still a small portion of free will and if you don't use it 
maximum to the maximum this free will if you don't lose your chance to the max then you can be sorry till the end of your life so even if all the obstacles there are all the obstacles and all everything everything shows that points that it's going to be very hard or even not possible you can still optimize you can still make a try and through good preparation through the right way of living stan is the expert of that cleaning your body etc etc choosing the right moment through astrology getting additional hemp from reiki or teate which is energy healing you know because the energy healing as well can support this process of conception i mean you should try everything and plan it in the right way and only after that if it doesn't happen only then agree that that's your fate i have seen cases that not very probable but still still it worked and even as i said before as i said before even the doctor said now it's not the time you cannot do it but he still did it you know so i don't say don't listen to the doctors but believe me i as i said i have three children and i have some ideas i uh, my last daughter was was delivered by the number one uh, gynecologist in bulgaria who was who was uh, elected by this very important forum bg mama which is for all the moms you know this is the second this is the strongest forum in bulgaria at all it's the biggest internet forum mm -hmm. and he was number one in the whole country and still still he didn't have idea about some 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 processes and some stuff because they our medicine does not know this is a miracle the, the child is a miracle the child is the the child is given by god and the medicine the doctor he, they can help but they're not 100 percent clear how exactly this works and sometimes they surprise themselves sometimes they surprise themselves because they're not totally clear how it works the whole stuff totally agree that there is some divine so, participation in the miracle of life to answer your question yes if i see such i point such obstacles or such hard aspects i i rather i rather turn to the direction to see what can be done what can be compensated because in astrology there is this technique called compensation where you have bad energy aspects you try to use this energy for positive purpose in your favor because it has to go somewhere mm -hmm. if you don't do anything it may go in the wrong direction but if you do something to pull it a little bit in the other direction then it can be in your favor so i rather try to find a solution than to do it i remember i have only once only once i have shared the bad news that a girl cannot get pregnant but i shared the news with her sister not with her mm -hmm. and i said her deliberately but the case was that she had very from birth she had very bad aspects she had uh, one um, um uh, the word just came out of my mind uh she was pregnant but she um she uh she left the baby she didn't uh, abort she aborted she oh, made an abortion she miscarried she she yeah. had no no she didn't miscarry oh, she made okay abortion, so it was like worse, an abortion oh, which okay. is even worse because you that's that there is a moment of intention there Okay, okay, so yes, what she, has given she, your life and you you give it back so i don't want to become very religious here but uh, but this is a deliberate process and uh and after that she's uh standing she's sitting in front of me like 40 43 44 now or 45 smoking cigarettes and asking me when she's going to get pregnant well doesn't work like this that's why i thought to her 
I told to her uh, sister that she made a very big mistake because she did shouldn't have made this abortion because generally it's very hard for her to conceive and that her husband will probably never make her pregnant because they uh, they didn't match so good in this aspect well they love each other and everything perfect and very nice couple but in this one aspect he could not help her and he could not get her pregnant i see okay we are coming towards our end we are a lot beyond our time but i want to ask you for um your final message to the women men and couples struggling with infertility any final words of wisdom that you want to i am still on? not 50 i still have one more year to become 50 and then probably i'll become very wise but but even without even before that i could tell i could tell one or two things that could be uh I, I i think would be useful very important is so if you're going into this serious process of creating and giving life you should prepare yourself the whole the key word is change change if it doesn't work like that because for some people it works like that but they have it in their chart you know if it doesn't work like that the key word is change change your food change your way of life change your thinking thinking is very important change your emotional emotional state very important if you, there is anxiety forget it you have to be relaxed if you need you can drink one glass of whiskey before that if it needs but you have to change your your whole attitude to the process get all the help you can have from from uh, consultants like Stani, from uh, energy healers, from uh, from astrologers to tell you exactly what time, what to do. And then you will be surprised that you can make wonder. I couldn't agree more. Fantastic ending to, to our talk today. I just want to read um, a couple of comments. Daniela Harizanova is saying, very interesting. Thank you for sharing with us. What are the contacts of Lubo Krumov? Thanks again. Um, I'm not sure if you are seeing right now in the description um, above the video um, the, the hyperlink to Lubo's profile on Facebook. If it's not showing as an active link, I'm going to edit it once the video is over so you can get on his personal profile. I imagine you can send him a message. Lubo, what is the best way to get in touch with you? Yes, they can send me a message. Uh, just beware that uh, I don't use Facebook so much for astrology, but for fun. But anyway, I use it for communication. I use it very, very much for communication. So on Messenger, I have my messenger on the phone so they can contact me. And uh, if they have some question or need some help, I will be, I will be happy to help. And if you can't, I mean, the profile is going to be linked, but if, if if not, you can always ask me and I'll put you in touch through Lubo. Um, yes, yes, of course. You yeah. can you can always ask Stani and she will give you yeah. further contact details. And uh, uh, another comment from Diana Manuva. Thank you, Stani and Lubo. A very positive support in the right moment for me. So thank you, Lubo. Uh, it's been very, very interesting. Yeah, thank thank you. you for this uh, different insight into fertility. And uh, I hope that uh, uh, people can um, get the chance to, um, to get uh, empowered by you. We have a visitor, sorry. Um, please <laughs> get, in touch, get in touch with Lubo um because um he he's really really talented um and uh, i mean not for not for other not only for fertility i mean he has amazed me um with with other predictions like i i i cannot forget like a year or so ago when he told me tonight you should sleep with your clothes because there is going to be a an earthquake and and i was like oh come on an earthquake and i the next morning <laughs> I receive images, uh, hold on, I receive images on, on my phone from a dear friend um, in, in Croatia 
um, with devastating uh, uh, stuff like uh, houses, like totally demolished. So there was an earthquake that night. It was not here, but it was a little bit uh, um, um, different geographic uh, altitude. Yeah, I remember it. Yeah. So it was like I was again goosebumps. So it was so, just thank you. Your friend, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lubo. We'll talk again. Um, hopefully, we um, gave a little bit more hope on everybody's fertility journey. Um, don't hesitate to ask Lubo for more clarity. One, one, one more thing. Uh, just uh, now, I'm going to be a bad guy. And I just uh, I have an, a thought. I open uh, I open uh, another topic maybe for another time. But uh, karma is a very important thing, and maybe. It's worth talking about the karma and cleaning karma at some other occasion because it can be it can be a reason for a problem. It can be helpful. As so well. that can be a, another another broadcast. Thank you yeah. for this idea. All right, bye everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Say bye bye. <laughs> bye. Bye.